Okay, now we're going to simplify some expressions. This one is the quantity of 19 plus a plus 16 divided by 4 when a equals 12. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that 12 in there. So I'm going to do 19 plus 12 plus 16 divided by 4. Remember, we must do parentheses first. So 19 plus 12 is going to give me 31 plus 16 divided by 4. Now, don't fall into the trap where you do 31 plus 16 first. You have to use the order of operations. And this one states that multiply and divide before adding and subtracting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the 31 plus 16 divided by 4 is 4. So I'm going to get my answer of 35. Now if I change A around, say maybe I change it to 10, that's going to change my answer um, by a couple. So it's all on whatever they're giving you the variable to be. The quantity of 16 minus B plus 2 times 3 when B equals 9. So again, I'm going to rewrite the problem, but now I'm going to put 9 in there. Okay, I do the parentheses first. 16 minus 9 is 7 plus 2 times 3. Again, I must do multiplication first. 7 plus 6, which is going to give me the answer of 13. And that is how you simplify expressions. But when evaluating expressions, it gets a little bit more tricky and you get some harder numbers here. Okay, so we have the brackets around this one at first. So you see the brackets and with x, but again, same thing. Is the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my problem with now 9.5 in there. Okay, now I'm ready. So again, here's something I didn't mention yet. But when you have a number directly next to a parenthesis, that means you're actually going to multiply because this is, this is uh, the distributive property. So what it's saying here is we're taking 6 times 9.5 minus 6 times 3.5. Okay, so when, when you see that, that's what you want to think of it as. How, that being said, you want to do whatever's in the parentheses first, we're doing 9.5 minus 3.5, which gives me a 6. Then I'm going to divide by 12 plus 4.2. Okay, 6 times 6 is 36. Divided by 12 plus 4.2. 36 now divided by 12 is going to give me 3 plus 4.2 and 3 plus 4 and 2 tenths, I should be saying it correctly, is 7 and 2 tenths is my final answer. So while this problem may look a little cumbersome and a little bit difficult, if you break it down step by step, it is not as qu quite as hard as it may appear when you first look at it.